Yes, you guessed it. I am still on that early 2020 safari, thanks to lockdown. <laughs> Will I ever understand the culture and heritage of the unique people we call South Africans? It can be only in SA. Today, I would like to warn those traveling in South Africa using the public transport system, otherwise known as the minibus taxi. You need to ensure that you have a life coach like Bafo here. There we were, in the capital of South Africa, in Soweto, walking the streets of Mdeni. Um, I was not too sure if I was safe or not, but I wanted to ensure the locals that I came in peace. So I show them a peace sign. Okay. Um, immediately, a taxi stopped and the driver just gave me this look that just said, get in now. I was like, ah, the boss, hey, you know my friend here, man, hey. I so go in. It was actually quite rude, really. You just drove off while Baffo here was trying to explain. It's actually not the first time where something like that has happened. We were also in a rural village in South Africa known as Germiston. I wanted to show the locals that I identified with their struggle. So I lifted my foot in the air in solidarity. A mandala. A handa. Well, clearly, th that was a mistake. I found myself in Cat Lahong. I have no idea why they call it Cat Lahong. There was not a single cat in sight. But Bafo here had to come and retrieve me. He was highly upset. He was Kasukile Ukufa. And I was like, brother, are you trying to get us in trouble? With who? The cops, Baba. Here in Uzansi, the taxi drivers are the real cops. Know your authority, Baba. Oh, okay, thank you so much for that, Bafo. Well, join us next week, where I will tell you a bit more about what happened inside the taxi. I sat in the front. Count on me to make such an error. <laughs> Count. Well, that was your international reporter. And his life coach. Signing out. <laughs>